Okay, I'm uh, bringing in my Edison player for U.S. History class at Washington High School for an upcoming lesson. And I'm going to talk about how the uh, phonograph, as it was called, the earliest record players worked. This is a uh, Model D original 1905 Edison player. And I'm going to kind of just show the basics of it, how it functions. You've got a crank here. There was no electricity at the time, so you would simply crank this up to give your player power. I'm going to show the internal components, which are actually pretty pretty awesome. If you look in there, I'm going to show it going in a second. Normally I'd never run it or treat it like this, but this is for educational purposes. You can see the Thomas A. Edison trademark here. Also Edison. This one's in pretty pretty good shape. I'm going to be using the small horn today. I've got a larger size I'm going to put on it later. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to go ahead and start it up here. So there it is running. This is called the reproducer. You drop it down. The original records were round cylinders. Looks like a uh, roll of toilet paper or something. Inside here's the inner workings. You've got uh, different gears. You've got uh, this thing here, which is a governor. You've got a belt and a pulley. And basically, you drop this down very carefully, and it plays what is recorded onto the cylinder. And this is without, the only way you have volume is the horn. And I'm going to show in a second. There's no volume switch. And this is called the Mockingbird, one of my favorites. You'll hear. I'm going to shut this off. Okay, that switch actually stops the Edison, the, the gears from turning in here. I'm going to show the records. Here's a real early brown wax. They originally made of a brown beeswax type material. This is in 1898, very early. Um, then they went with uh, what's called black wax. The original players um, only had two minutes. They're only able to fit two minutes on this uh, record. Then uh, Edison was able to add more grooves in, and then they had the four-minute black wax. And then he developed what's called Amberol. This is a blue Amberol, an early one. This is a pretty cool one. It's called the Santa Claus Song. And then finally, he produced these until about 1929, so starting in the 1880s all the way to 1929. This is probably one of the rarest Edison records you can get. This is... 3756, let us not forget, this is actually Edison speaking, and this is a uh, three to $500 record right here. I'm going to be playing some of these in a further video, but I'm going to show, basically Edison was born in 1847, and he developed um, <clears throat> the record or recording of sound in 1877, late, possibly 1878 kind of by accident, but I'm going to show the story of it right now, and we're going to do a reaction in the class. So, here we go. But it led Edison to his most startling invention. He suspected that a vibrating needle point would leave indentations on a piece of paper, indentations that could then be played back. They tried it, and it worked enough immediately. That is, they got some a buzzing noise out of the paper when they pulled it back underneath. But they realized that this was a possibility. Then they sat down and, in thinking about it and its possibilities, realized they just recorded sound. Edison switched from paper to tin foil and actually recorded the human voice. So by turning the tin foil flywheel and getting a constant speed, you can shout into this machine. Testing one, two, three, four. Mary had a little lamb. Its bleats as white as snow. The device is a marvel of simplicity. The human voice vibrates a diaphragm, moving a stylus, which leaves grooves on the tin foil. 
when the machine is returned to the starting point, the grooves cause the diaphragm to vibrate again, reproducing the original sound. In the late 19th century, no one even considered that sound could be reproduced by a machine. And you can see the stylus over here. There's uh, different kinds for... Here's a Model C. It's for the two-minute records. This one has an adjustment on it where you can actually play. It's a desirable one. You can play two and four minute. Edison also invented the incandescent light bulb and had over 90,000 patents. The guy was amazing, an amazing inventor. And you can look at further videos to see... Uh, some of these records playing. I'm going to be um, doing further recordings. Thanks for checking out the video.